SSTI2, I made a cool website where you can announce whatever you want. I read about input sanitization, so now I remove any kind of characters that could be a problem. I heard templating is a cool and modular way to build web apps. Check out my website here. Why? Okay, we got server-side template injection. We saw that in SSTI1. This was a Python Jinja thing. Why is blacklisting characters a bad idea? Okay, so we can check out this website. Right, so we started with like 7 plus 7. That's 14. If we put in like 0, 0.0. That's interesting. We'll see that we didn't get we didn't get that decimal point. Maybe that they're filtering periods. Um, let's go back and look up SSTI Jinja injection. So let's try maybe this one. No. Here we go. So last time we used this payload right here. So basically we were going to import OS and call popen with ID figure out who we were. So there's that stop trying to break me. So now instead of just filtering out there, they're being a bit more active. So this article talks about things they might be trying to filter on. We, we already saw something weird about the period. We got underscore, square brackets, join. So they have this um, right here we can try. This gets rid of those. It, uses this pipe character um, with adder to get the periods that 5f is underscore so we're not worried about underscores um, yeah so they've walked through there all right so let's just throw that injection in here so that worked we got um, the ID we're running as root. Let's try ls-al. Okay, so we can see now it's in the directory. We see flag. So that's probably what we want. So we can go back. And we'll change that to cat flag. Okay, so SSTI filter bypass. So the big issue here was they were filtering on certain characters, but we could still do an injection avoiding those characters by using um, these different things with like the ASCII encoding and the adder for the periods, etc.